in the previous video we saw that every mass defect in the universe are transformed into a explosively transformed into a super thin form of matter since mass defect is a universally occurring phenomenon for example every active stars in the universe supernova explosions black hole mergers neutron star collisions all these events creates mass defects on a large scale this is a picture of a, of a deep field these all are these all are uh, galaxies this each dot is a galaxy so these galaxy each galaxy consists of billions of stars so uh, since uh, mass defect is a universally occurring phenomenon the entire universe is filled with this type of matter now uh, as a form of matter this matter will be attracted by massive body every massive so each every massive body because of gravity to maintain a dense region of this this matter around it so it this a massive body creates a density gradient around it so consider a beam of light travels point from point a to point b to so this space so each time when light approaches a star because of the density gradient it it will refract and bend and it is speed will change so if if a beam of light travels from point a to point b it will change its path multiple times its speed will change multiple times so if you draw a the path of the light beam it it will look like this to look like this so speed of light is not a universal constant i am joseph george thank you for watching